What is up? This is your LA in a minute. And today I want to talk about a place that was one of the first warehouse style grocery stores in the world. A place founded in 1871 by three men, one of whom would become the future mayor of Los Angeles. This is the history of Smart and Final. So when it was founded 151 years ago, it was known as Hellman Haas and Company, and it was located on Los Angeles Street in then rural, tiny downtown Los Angeles. By 1914, it was purchased by two men, Jim Smart and Hildane Final. I kid you not. And that's where the name Smart and Final comes from. So this was the two-story brick building of the original Hellman Haas and Company on Los Angeles Street downtown. As packaged goods were unknown at the time, Hellman Haas Grocery Company's products arrived in bulk and were typically sold by weight. There were prunes, currants, rice from overseas, and the necessities of the day, including flour, salt, medicine, chewing tobacco, and gunpowder. Hellman Haas existed so early in the city's history that it was one of only seven names in Los Angeles' first phone directory. By the turn of the 20th century, the sole owners of Hellman Haas were Abraham Haas, brother of the original Jacob, and a new Jacob, Baruch, who bought out the original trio. Bernard Cohn had been bought out mostly because he served on the city council and for a brief period, mayor. The company's name was changed to Haas, Baruch and Company in 1889. By 1895, they introduced one of the first private label brands in America, Iris. The grocer's sales exploded and they reached $2 million, a huge sum at the time. The business continued to expand as well as the population in Southern California. Meanwhile, the Santa Ana Wholesale Grocery Company, which was founded in 1912 to supply feeding grain to local farmers, was sold in 1914 to Jim Smart and Hildane Final, as mentioned earlier. This is Smart and Final right here. Kind of crazy that that was actually their names. The business relocated near the docks in San Pedro, and by 1919, the sales had surged to $10 million, and they were formerly known as Smart and Final Wholesale Grocers. Shortly thereafter, a huge development occurred. They were the first grocer to introduce the concept of cash and carry west of Chicago. At the time, grocery stores required a clerk to collect goods for customers, and the ability to serve yourself and save time was a modern marvel. In 1953, the company relocated to Vernon, which was a preferred distribution center at the time. As the company expanded to more than 80 locations, they were acquired by a leading supermarket chain, Thrifty Mart. It wouldn't be the last time the company changed hands, but one thing that remains the same is the company's commitment to philanthropy with the Smart and Final Foundation, which donates $2 million a year to causes. So Smart and Final currently has more than 250 locations and nearly 8,000 employees in California, Nevada, Arizona, and Mexico. It remains one of the only warehouse-sized grocers that does not charge a membership fee. So if you need it smart, you need it final, and maybe you need it extra, come to LA's own Smart and Final. All right, LA, it's been a minute.